CARE was formed 11 years ago with the intent of bringing great clinical research to our community, to the South Sound community. And there really is a history of doing great cancer research down here in the South Sound that many people are not aware of. But originally that work was done at MultiCare and um, was done by a great group of physicians and, and was very, very effective. Um, over time, it's become more and more difficult to support financially research with the old models. Those old models mean funding from the National Cancer Institute, from the National Institute of Health. And as time has gone by, the funding for that kind of research has become less and less. It became clear to us 11 years ago that in order for the South Sound to have available great clinical research for patients, that we needed a mechanism for supporting it, for financially supporting it. Research brings better treatments to our patients. It brings better treatments to the individual patient, to that mom, to that dad, to that grandparent. We learn how to treat patients with more effective therapy and we prove that those therapies are worthwhile. The CARE Foundation was in existence when Frank came to me and asked me to help. It was a time in my life when I wanted to do more and this was just a perfect fit for charitable giving and time and so what it really does on a 40,000 foot level is provides hope and hope is essential to living life. It feels great because you want to provide as many possibilities for these patients to have the best outcome that they can have. The additional research, we're able to help more patients every day. Research is the path to the cure. The South Sound Care Foundation provides access to clinical research trials in the South Sound, which are extending lives, including breast cancer, prostate cancer, bladder cancer, and acute myeloid leukemia. Sometimes you think, my gosh, we're so lucky to be able to do this and help target those therapies and find that person, that patient, the right therapy. And other times they would just be doing what's standard of therapy. You know, this is what we do. Okay, that didn't work. This is what we do. That didn't work. You know, and we're looking outside the box, which makes a huge difference. When you're asking for drug for a patient, you've got to show them all this information and show them why you want their drug. And, and it just all takes time. And that's where the coordinators keep an eye on um, certain testing that needs to be done. and making sure that the patient is not having any side effects from these medications. Triple negative breast cancer affects one in six breast cancer patients. There is no known cure. Typical life expectancy at stage four is six to 17 months. Shannon Woolock was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer. She has been fighting since January of 2017. She's been receiving an off-label use drug through the South Sound Care Foundation. The surgeon did, in fact, have a successful surgery, the second surgery that I had. And as a precaution, Dr. Senegal put me on a, an additional chemotherapy regimen for an additional 12 weeks, um, just to kind of catch any of those little things that might be running around still in there. And, and um, that, that was a tough, that second set of chemo that I went through was, um, that was a tough road for me. The sad part was is that when I had a PET scan done after going through that chemotherapy, it had spread. And that, I think at that moment was, um, that moment is like, wow, am I really gonna live through this? Dr. Cynical at that time had also ordered my tumors to be sent to the genomic lab for genetic testing which took about six weeks to return. And again, the results were poor. We, we all can, can pick our causes in the community, and there's great causes. But the one thing about South Sound Care that kind of strikes a chord with me, well, first of all, it's very local. So it does represent the South Sound. And so I, I think the folks in this community 
do need that extra level of care, especially when it comes to cancer. It's something the community feels very strongly about. So we're just, you know, gatherers and stewards and herders, essentially, and the recipient of this is not the foundation, but it's the individuals, the, the patients. Bringing great research to the South Sound makes a tremendous difference to our patients. These are treatments that might be available in Seattle, but might very well not be. We keep moving forward, man managing the side effects of the drug that I'm on that's kept me in remission all this time. After six weeks of fighting the insurance company to cover the drug and being turned down, Dr. Seneca in his office fought tirelessly to work with the drug manufacturer to get the medication for free. I don't know of anyone that hasn't been touched by the ravages of cancer. Friends, business associates, family, um, it's pervasive. And where do you start? Well, I think you can start locally here. And South Sound Care provides that wonderful organization where we can do something at the local level. In March of 2018, I completed radiation and found out a month later after more scans that it did its job. It killed all the cancer. I remain on that medication today thanks to Dr. Senecal, his staff, the drug company, and all of the positive support I've received. I am 14 months with no evidence of disease, and so very thankful that my life has been pardoned for now.